Hello and welcome once again to part 11 of the Zarbologist Star Wars collection 2017 we're going on to and I'm starting off with my very tiny collection of the Phantom Menace as you can see um, we've got the TC314 or something of the C3PO unit C3PO the very first time in the prequels without his covering oh my god I'm naked and this um, floor is in, entirely stable with the classic Qui-Gon Jinn where I've put over the um, poncho on him and a random green clone trooper and Watto Darth Maul without the coat and a bounty hunter that we see just for a cameo who featured also in the Clone Wars because she's popular and um, the one of the R2 units that was with R2-D2 that got killed when they're trying to save their ship Obi-Wan from Attack of the Clone no, no sorry um, Revenge of the Sith ship with his first droid before it got smashed so randomly again and we have some sort of kind of comic packs of Darth Vader damaged Darth Vader all became popular um, and a shadow clone trooper um, the Revenge of the Sith Red and the Revenge of the Sith Blue clone troopers with a few other Revenge of the Sith clone troopers in the back. And I love these Imperial Royal Guards Black, Red, with uh, Palpatine. And I also love, over here, Palpatine and Attack of the Clones with the Blue Imperial Royal Guards. And that was the Revenge of the Sith Palpatine, and you can get him, yes with a blue and red lightsaber that we'll see later and they probably did that to be random to try and make it rare. Boba Vett, um, an interesting one with his Slave One, interesting version of him. Um, Han Solo and Carbonate, 95, 97 around there. The Ralph McQuarrie Stormtroopers as they were. Um, also we have these uh, Imperial Royal Guards in, um, in Crimson Empire comic and some Crimson, well, Imperial Royal Guards sort of with the grey side, side of the force, not the light or the dark, in the 150 years later with Cole Skywalker and a Darth Maul type tattooed character, Sith, that she gets slaughtered. And I've painted these Imperial Royal Guard droids of blue and black. And we've also got the black and red. Lovely. Moving over here, we have the um, Adak Commander again with AT-80 drivers um, and the Imperial Snowtroopers with Darth Vader, one of the favourite Darth Vaders that um, I think, yeah, works really well. Um, and we have the original Luke Skywalker TIE Fighter pilot hanging off. There's the other Imperial um, troop, Imperial Snowtrooper with the gun which was released probably 10 years prior to the other one that I have in the packet. Imperial Snowtroopers with Darth Vader in the At-At or at, -AT Walker, however you want to sort of say it. Um, and I think in there I've got another little at, -AT driver hiding away because I've got a few of them. I love them so much. So there we go. Let's have another sneak peek good vision of it with the snow speeder and the chicken walker as well. I'm going to get into that in a minute. So there we go. There's the full lot nearly. And away it back. Okay. All right. Now we're going over here to the X-Wing pilots, Ledge Antilles and Big Dark Lighter and Luke Skywalker with an orange um, R2 unit I've checked in there and Biker Scouts. It's the original biker scouts, both of them are. I've got two of them, I know Lucky, with the um, ATST driver. ATST driver, the newer one, on the chicken walker, and that's an original chicken walker, and so is that snow speeder with Luke Skywalker, vintage um, X Wing pilot. I've put in there, because I could squeeze him in the Return of the Jedi Luke, look how thin his legs are, and Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi. And just once again, I love those troopers because they're all colourful, like the Imperial Royal Guards, like the R2 units. I could have many, many colourful 
ones of them. So whatever floats your boat, and that floats my boat.